For this case study, I ask that you imagine yourself at home relaxing. Like, nice, huh? You go and check your mail and see that you got a mail from a brokerage company with a stock tip, predicting that a steel company's stock price would go up. You put it aside, since stock tips are like opinions, everyone seems to have one. Now, one week goes by and indeed the stock price does indeed go up. You still don't give it so much credibility, since everyone can get lucky. However, on the next day, the same brokerage company sends you a second stock pick about the chocolate company's stock price that would go down. Another week goes by, and the stock of the chocolate company did indeed go down. At the same time, you get the third stock tip, also correct, then the fourth, a fifth, and so on, until you get the tenth stock pick, which comes with a subscription proposal of $9.99 a week to receive stock picks every week from now on. The tenth would be the last one for free. Now, would you purchase it? Before you make a decision, let's recap. You receive 10 correct stock tips in a row, and now the company wants you to pay for the stock tips from now on. What would be your opinion? Is it worth it? Please pause here and think about the problem. Let's look at the numbers. If we assume that the stock market randomly fluctuates, then the probability is similar to a coin toss, or 50-50. Therefore, the broker has 50% chance of getting one stock tip right, then 25% of getting two correct, and so on. The probability of getting 10 correct in a row is 1 out of 1024. Mathematically, it is the following. 1 divided by 2, so 0 0.5 to the power of 10. This is 1 divided by 1024. From there, you can either say that the stockbroker is extremely lucky, which can happen for sure, but highly unlikely, or the stockbroker has extremely good knowledge of the market. However, things may change if you look from the perspective of the stockbroker. How do you overcome the odds? Either quality, which would be a godlike knowledge of the market, or quantity. One way is to send it not just to the one person, to you sitting on the couch very comfortably, but rather to 102,400 people. After the first pick, there will be still on average 51,200 people that got the correct prediction, so half of the initial part. After the second, there will be 25,600, so half of the remaining half. If the stockbroker randomly picked stocks, there will still be 100 people at the end of the 10 rounds of tips who would be very likely, very inclined to purchase the subscription given the historical performance of the broker. The bottom line is that you can seem like a genius if you know how to use statistics on your behalf. When assessing someone's results, judge what was behind the decision and not the actual result. Luck happens, or worse, uh, people know how to seem lucky. Until the next video, have fun.